Now recently, the NFL has allowed players to wear custom cleats in pre-game warmups, but still has strict rules when it comes to what players can wear in-game. The cleats that are banned from the NFL and the fines that come with them, you won't believe. With the holiday season now upon us, let's go back to 2017, when the Saints were playing the Falcons in week 16 of the regular season in a game that happened to take place on Christmas Eve. Many players donned some holiday-themed apparel in pre-game warmups, but Alvin Kamara decided to stand out in-game as well. He was the only player who decided to keep his Christmas cleats on for the game, and these cleats resembled Christmas stockings. They were red with a white trim at the top. Now, the NFL rule for cleats state that they must be dominantly one color chosen prior to the season by the team between white, black, or a team color. While Kamara's nose ring might make him look like a bull, even he knew his cleats weren't up to NFL standards. After the game, Kamara explained why he wore his cleats endgame anyways, and he said, I just feel like it's Christmas. Everyone's in the Christmas spirit, so why not? Hopefully they don't do me too bad. Now his teammate Mark Ingram also weighed in on the situation saying, if they find him, they're the Grinch. Don't be the Grinch. Do not be the Grinch. But according to the NFL, this was against the rules no matter what day it was, and they left a $6,000 fine under Kamara's tree. Now, many people didn't think the fine was in holiday spirit, and Kamara didn't regret the decision. After he was fined, Alvin said, it was worth it. I told you what I was going to do after the game. I'm going to go make a GoFundMe. I'm going to go find a charity. Maybe somebody that gets shoes for underprivileged kids. Maybe something like a little league team around here that needs cleats. All right, we all know the Cleveland Browns had a disappointing season in 2019. Expectations were high for the Browns, and a big reason why was the reuniting of Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry. The duo were college teammates and best friends, and immediately burst onto the scene in the NFL. When Beckham was traded to the Browns in the offseason, Browns hype exploded, but unfortunately, the Browns haven't really lived up to it, and Beckham has been especially quiet. In their Week 10 matchup against the Broncos, Beckham and Landry both wore cleats that did not follow league requirements. Odell's cleats particularly stood out as he wore a pair of Joker themed cleats following the release of the popular movie. Now what made this incident particularly noteworthy was that the two were not just fined by the NFL, they were told at halftime they wouldn't be able to continue to play if they didn't change their cleats. While unusual, the NFL rulebook does state that players could be held out of a game if a violation of the uniform code is discovered in time. Now Beckham and Landry both changed their cleats as requested and they came back out in the second half. Now typically, we the public, you tend to favor the player in these situations where the NFL's ridiculous rules are brought into effect, but in this situation, the players took more of the criticism. It was felt that the cleats were unnecessary, especially for a Browns team that had been struggling. And it didn't help that they went on to lose to a Broncos team that was on their third string quarterback. Beckham went on to say that the cleats were not meant to make any sort of statement after the game. He said, on Wednesday or Thursday, we switched jerseys from the white to the all brown. So I had no cleats left to wear, none that I could have worn. And the black ones that I was wearing for the rest of the game, for some reason, they were just hurting my feet. So I went to the ones that was most comfortable. I was pretty sure that they changed the rule and cleats wasn't a big deal. It's only a big deal to people that are talking about it. Now Adele Beckham's fine for his Joker cleats was far from his first time in that department. He's had multiple violations over his career. But one that no one will knock him for was the apparel that he chose for a 2016 game against the Detroit Lions. In this game, Beckham decided to wear another pair of Outlanders cleats, but this time to honor the memory of the late Craig Sager, who had just passed away from leukemia. Sager was a TNT reporter famous for his bright and colorful outfit that he would wear while on the sidelines, and Beckham's cleats mimicked Sager's style and were intended to raise money for the Sager Strong Foundation, which funds clinical trials and research for leukemia and other blood cancers. But the NFL still fined Beckham $18,000 for wearing the cleats. And while Beckham is usually the target of public criticism, no one took the side of the NFL on this matter. This fine was especially large, and it was the most for any cleat infraction that season. Afterwards, Beckham was not pleased with the league's reaction. He talked about this and he said, I got fined $18,000 for Craig Sager cleats that we're auctioning off to the highest bidder and donating the proceeds to his cancer research. 18K is like nothing to them. No warning to take them off or anything. Nothing. But Beckham felt that there was a double standard for him when he violated these types of NFL policies, comparing himself to Ezekiel Elliott, who is not fined for jumping in the Salvation Army donation pot for a touchdown celebration the week before. Odell went on to say, it's just the way this world works. There are double standards everywhere. It's just how life is. In 2009, the NFL began celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month by draping the field, sidelines, and players in pink for the month of October. This included players wearing pink cleats, something that most players were more than happy to do. However, on October 10th, 2013, Bears wide receiver Brandon Marshall decided to wear green cleats instead in honor of Mental Health Awareness Week. This cause was particularly important to Marshall as he was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder in 2011. He talked about his condition saying, after a couple years of volatile behavior, I found myself in McLean 
hospital near Boston where I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. I didn't have the skill set or tools a healthy person would have to self-regulate when something was off. I definitely think there were signs when I was younger, but I was a product of a very volatile neighborhood with a lot of violence, drugs, and unhealthy living. What I was dealing with was nothing different than the rest of the kids in school. You have kids with emotional issues, kids with anger issues, and kids that have many challenges, and I was one of them. I used to think that mental health meant mental toughness and masking pain. I was raised in a community where you didn't admit to any weakness. And as a football player, you never show weakness to your opponent. But when you think about it, connecting with those emotions is the real strength. Marshall just wanted to bring attention to the cause that was most important to him, but he also wanted to make it clear that he supported breast cancer awareness as well. He wanted to bring attention and give to both issues. After the game, Marshall said, I'm gonna get fined and I'm gonna match that. We wanna partner with a cancer care charity. We're still working on the details to give. Really give back to an organization that's doing work in the mental health area. The diagnosis of breast cancer can hit families hard. It affects all of us. Marsha was fined $10,500 for the green cleats that he wore, and he knew he would be, but he didn't regret the decision. He immediately tweeted after receiving the fine saying, football is my platform, not my purpose. This fine is nothing compared to the conversation started and the awareness raised. However, in the end, Marshall's situation actually changed the rules of the NFL. It was one of the factors contributing to the My Cause, My Cleats, a policy instituted by the NFL in 2016, allowing players one week to wear custom cleats supporting the cause of their choice. Now this is probably one of the more ridiculous fines we have on this list. In 2015, Martellus Bennett was fined for wearing cleats that were too black. As mentioned previously, the NFL requires players to wear cleats that are some combination of white, black, and a team color, but the dominant color of the cleats must be decided by the team prior to the season. The Bears chose to have white as their dominant color in 2015, and Bennett's cleats were all black. The explanation was in the rulebook, but it didn't make Martellus Bennett any less frustrated. The tight end expressed his frustrations at the league's rules afterwards. Bennett had been dealing with a foot problem, and the Air Jordan 7 cleats that fit him best haven't been released in white, making it a difficult situation for him. But he went on to say, I'm just pissed off at the NFL. They get mad because my cleats are too black, but they're perfect for my feet. And I feel like they're supposed to protect the players. And I have a certain shoe that feels the best with my foot. I've had foot problems over the last two years. Bennett had even taken extra precautions to try to prevent a fine like this happening, and he talked about this saying, I blacked out the logo so I don't get fined for wearing something that's not official or whatever, but they're too black. Maybe I'm gonna have to paint them white. Bennett was asked if he's gonna continue to wear the black cleats every week if it was a matter of health, but he said, nah, I've got a kid at home, and she's smart too. I'm gonna have to pay for Harvard or something, but nah, I can't afford the fine every week. It's about my health though. Now with the league becoming more strict around brand deals and wearing clothing or accessories surrounding popular trends, back in 2016, before a game, Von Miller posted a picture on his Twitter of his brand new Yeezy 750 cleats with the caption that said, can't wait to test these out tonight. But lucky for Von, he ended up being warned by someone that if he wore those cleats in game, he would be fined. So he decided to only wear them during the warmup. However, Houston Texans star wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins decided he was gonna wear the Yeezy cleats in game anyways. DeAndre went with the Yeezy 350 cleats in the 2016 season open and he was fined $6,000 for violating the rule that says the cleats must have a solid base color. After the game, Hopkins spoke with reporters and told them he would keep wearing the cleats if Kanye wanted to pay the fine. Other players at the beginning of the season were also issued different variations of the Yeezy cleats, and that included Adrian Peterson and Sammy Watkins on top of Von Miller and DeAndre Hopkins. And all four players tweeted their appreciation beforehand, but just like DeAndre, the other two were fined for wearing them in games as well. But after it was reported that the NFL was going to fine players for wearing Adidas branded cleats in game, an NFL reporter Nick DiPaola spoke and said, I'm hearing from multiple people that Adidas is putting a plan in place to cover the NFL fines and have players continue to wear Yeezy cleats. Now with the NFL cracking down on brand related issues, Odell Beckham Jr. did something with the Giants that we haven't seen since. He was spotted wearing Supreme sleeves on his arm during pre-game warmups and even in game as well. Odell is one of those players in today's league that's just not afraid to wear what he wants and he's represented the Supreme brand plenty off the field as well. During a recent injury he suffered, he even had a custom boot made for his injured foot with the Supreme brand all over it. And Odell's even had custom Supreme cleats made that he's repped as well. Not too long after his season with the Giants, Odell was still making headlines with some one of a kind custom Nike cleats. These were created by Kick Asso and inspired by the Supreme Louis Vuitton collection that's become so popular. And these cleats came with the famous logo scattered throughout and in the distinct colors of the brand, red and white. But just like the NFL cracking down on anything brand related that could interfere with the league's official brand contracts, the NBA has seen a few instances of Supreme come out during games as well, and that involved J.R. Smith and Kelly Oubre Jr. After both of them were spotted wearing different Supreme sleeves on either their arm or leg, JR was even seen with a tattoo of the brand on his leg shortly after, and that too raised controversy with the league. It was noted that JR was going to receive a fine every game the brand was either worn or not covered because of it not being an approved brand with the league. And with that happening in the NBA, it makes sense why we haven't seen any Supreme other than these few instances from Odell surrounding the NFL before. 
and your fam. What are you doing, dog? Click on this video. You see that video right there? Click on it, bro. This video is over. All right? There's nothing left here for you. Just click on this video, okay? Please, please just click it.